Hello, welcome again to Over the Moon Bedtime Stories. I see all of you all tucked in your bed. That's good because I, Jackie, have got a story for you tonight. So, the name of our story is Peanut Butter and Homework Sandwiches. <laughs> Let's get it started. It was Monday and all Martin McGregor wanted to do was go to school. Mr. Elliot was the coolest teacher ever and this was the day he was going to bring his pet Harriet, the tarantula. But when Martin burst into class, he was surprised to see a tall lady with orange hair piled on top of her head. My name is Mrs. Payne. Mr. Elliot will be out of school for a while. Martin McGregor learned two things at school that day. One was Mr. Elliot had broken his arm mountain climbing. And the other was Mrs. Payne loved to give mountains of homework. After school, Martin McGregor sat down to do his homework. Just as he worked the last problem, he spied the jar of peanut butter on the kitchen counter. Sadie, I need some brain food, he said. Martin slopped the peanut butter on one slice of bread and dripped a mountain of jelly on the other. The peanut butter and jelly oozed out the sides as Martin took a big bite. Splat! Martin's paper was covered with peanut butter and jelly. Oh, great. Martin got up to get a paper towel, but before he could clean up the mess, Sadie was doing it for him. Sadie, you didn't just eat the peanut butter. You ate the whole paper, yelled Martin. This gives new meaning to the dog ate my homework. What will Miss Payne think? On Tuesday morning, when Martin tried to tell Miss Payne that his dog really and truly ate his homework, she did not believe him. Martin McGregor had to redo his homework and Miss playing kickball at recess. Martin learned one thing about Mrs. Payne that day. There were absolutely no excuses for homework. When Martin got home from school, his mother said, I'm washing jeans, Martin. Throw in the ones you are wearing. Martin dropped his jeans into the washer and watched the water swish around the clothes, then headed upstairs to start his homework. Sadie followed close behind, hoping for more peanut butter. Martin McGregor reached into his pocket for his spelling paper. My homework, yelled Mark as he raced back downstairs to the washer. It was too late. The spin cycle had begun and Martin McGregor's homework was faded beyond recognition. Martin McGregor learned on Wednesday that Mrs. Payne didn't like stiff and bleached out homework. He had to miss kickball again and write over and over, I will do my homework neatly. I will do my homework neatly. Mr. Elliot would never make me do this, Martin mumbled under his breath. Tuesday morning was a little crazy in the McGregor house. It was the first day of preschool for Martin's little sister. She was so excited that she practically bounced right out of her chair and didn't touch her eggs. She insisted on a backpack just like her big brothers. His mom dropped off Martin first. He grabbed his backpack out of the van and raced into the room to give Miss Payne his homework. Mrs. Payne, I have my homework today, Martin said excitedly. He opened his backpack. Martin McGregor couldn't believe his eyes. The backpack had no homework. Instead, he saw the yellow hair of Miss Nettie, his sister's favorite doll. Looky, looky, Martin brought his dolly, cried Samuel Hall. He grabbed Miss Nettie and started to throw her around. Martin McGregor tried desperately to catch Miss Nettie, but he was unsuccessful. Mrs. Payne was successful. She grabbed Miss Nettie in midair and marched Martin and Samuel to the principal's office. 
Martin McGregor missed recess again. Worst of all, he had to sit next to Samuel Hall, the taker of everyone's dessert at lunch for the rest of the week. That evening, Martin's dad stopped by his room. How's the homework going, son? Martin sighed and plopped his head down on the dictionary. Why can't she give us something interesting for homework? This is boring. After you finish, why not think up your own homework, his dad said. What do you want to learn about? You can research it on the computer. Martin got a fabulous idea. He spent the rest of the evening on his homework. Harriet made the perfect subject. Martin made a book of tarantula facts. He filled his wall with pictures of tarantulas. He made a tarantula out of clay and pipe cleaners. Martin even turned Sadie into a tarantula by adding extra legs to her with his dad's black socks. At dinner, he even made one out of his chicken and noodles. Friday morning, Martin wasn't taking any chances. He held his stack of definitions all the way to school. As he approached the building, a sudden gust of wind sent the papers flying. No matter how fast Martin ran, the papers flew faster. He caught one, then another, but the last two did loopy loops in the sky before landing on the roof of the school. Martin McGregor had to redo the two lost papers of definitions, and he had to look up 10 extra words. He learned homework on the roof didn't count, according to Mrs. Payne. The next week, Martin McGregor dragged himself into the classroom. He had put his homework carefully in his backpack, but he worried something would go wrong and Mrs. Payne would be unhappy with him. When he got to the classroom, he couldn't believe his eyes. There was Mr. Elliot's pet tarantula, Harriet. Martin McGregor saw a smiling Mr. Elliot. Good to be back. How did you last week go, Martin? asked Mr. Elliot. Martin McGregor was speechless. At the end of the day, Mr. Elliot said, Class, I have your homework assignment. The room was filled with groans. Mr. Elliot continued, I want you to find out everything you can about tarantulas. Whoever finds the most facts can feed Harriet next week and keep her for the weekend. The room was filled with cheers. Martin McGregor grinned and thought, I wonder how my mom and sister will feel about a weekend guest. <laughs> the end. Well, it looks like all the homework that Martin had to make up for, for all the accidents, in the end, he had his homework already done for the week. And he knew that he could take the spider home for the weekend. Wow. I don't know about a tarantula, though. I don't know if I'd want one in my house. <laughs> but you guys get some sleep and join me again tomorrow night on Over the Moon Bedtime Stories. Good night.